Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. This is my first video in this video lecture series of digital communication. In this video, I will explain block diagram of digital communication system. See in digital communication system, there are two elements. One is transmitter and second is receiver. First of all, let me explain transmitter section. See in transmitter section, first block is input information block. So here information can be analog or digital. Information can be electrical or non-electrical. If we have non-electrical information, then with the use of transducer, we will be converting non-electrical quantity into electrical signal. For example, if you talk about voice signal, then voice signal is non-electrical quantity. And we can convert that non-electrical voice signal into electrical signal with the use of microphone, right? So information input that can be analog or digital. It can be electrical or non-electrical. If it is non-electrical, then it can be converted into electrical signal using transducer. Information can be audio, video, image, text or any discrete or continuous data. Right. So here, see after this first block, we will be having information over here and that information will be electrical. Right. And it could be analog information or digital information. Now this information that we give it to source encoding. See in source encoding, if we have digital information, then it will perform data compression. And if we have information that is analog in nature, then it will perform effective bandwidth utilization. So here in source encoding, we can have input that is analog or digital and source encoding will be reducing redundancy in information. If it is reducing redundancy, then but obviously there will be effective bandwidth utilization, right? So source encoding improves bandwidth efficiency and it provides data compression. If you have analog input, in that case, common source encoding methods are adaptive delta modulation, delta modulation and pulse code modulation. See in this video lecture series, I will explain all these methods in great details. Right now consider if you have analog input signal with source encoding, then one can use methods like adaptive delta modulation, delta modulation and pulse code modulation. And if we have digital signal as an input, then one can use Huffman coding, Shannon Fano coding for data compression. These methods also I will cover in this video lecture series with great clarity along with examples, right? So here, see after source encoding, here we will be having digital data, right? Here we will be having digital data and this digital data that we give it to channel encoding. See this channel encoding that we do it to improve noise immunity. By adding error correction method, we can improve noise immunity of the transmission. Right. So in channel encoding, what we do is we enhance noise immunity by adding redundancy to the data. For example, if you have some digital data and if you add noise correction method or one can say error correction method, then you will have to add some extra data. Right. By adding extra data after transmission, if there is any error, then that error can be resolved. So this channel encoding that will be enhancing noise immunity by adding extra redundant data, right? For example, one can have block code, cyclic code, convolution code, or one can use some other error connection methods even, right? So here, see this channel encoding that will be adding extra bits to perform error correction by which there will be higher noise immunity, right? So here we will be having 
digital data and this digital data that we give it to digital modulator. See this digital modulator that is having another input signal that is high frequency carrier signal. And with the use of digital modulator, here we will be having high frequency signal and high frequency signal can be easily transmitted with the use of antenna, right? So our goal is to transmit signal at higher frequency. And to have that, we will be using digital modulator. So one input is digital signal. Second input is high frequency carrier signal and modulated signal will be high frequency signal that we will be transmitting with the use of antenna. So here there will be EM wave that we will be transmitting, right? And this EM wave that we will be receiving at receiver section over here, right? So once this antenna is receiving this EM wave, here we will be having modulated signal that is available over here, right? And this digital demodulator that is performing opposite to this operation, right? So again over here, we will be having ideally same information as it is available over here, which will be digital in nature. And then we will be performing opposite to channel encoding that is channel decoding. And again here we will be having digital information, right? And this digital data that we give it to source decoding and see opposite to source encoding here we will be doing source decoding. So here we will be having analog or digital signal and based on the signal here we will be providing output here if your signal is analog or digital then here one can have output. Now question is output is electrical or non-electrical. If output is electrical then that is fine but if output is non-electrical like voice signal so in that case here there will be transducer so electrical signal can be converted into voice signal with the use of speaker right so that is how entire process is there now let me explain this process by one example so here see we are talking about transmitter section so here we can have analog or digital signal if you have analog signal like this then this analog signal that is getting converted into digital signal over here that is output of source encoding that is also referred as source code and source code that is also referred as information code. Let us consider we have one digital data that is 1010 right. This is what information which we have. Now this information that we give it to channel encoding. Channel encoding will be adding redundancy and by adding redundancy it will be giving facility of error correction right. So here after channel encoding here we will be having channel code. See this is information right. Let us say this is information that is 1010 and this channel encoding that is adding extra bits. Let us say these extra bits are 101. So this is now channel code right and with the use of channel code at receiver side as and when there is error at the time one can resolve error even right. So this channel code that we give it to digital modulator and after modulation we will be transmitting high frequency signal right. Now let us assume here we are receiving same code. Let us say here we have received 1010101 right that is same code then this same code that is getting reflected over here after demodulation right so here we have channel code right here we have channel code after demodulation and this channel code can give source code by eliminating this redundant information right so here we will be having source code right here we will be having source code that is 1010 right now see here we have added extra data by channel encoding why the reason is we want to resolve error 
For example, whenever you are transmitting data and let us say instead of this 0, instead of this 0, let us say we have received 1. So this 1, this 1 is error, right? But as we have channel decoding over here, it can resolve this error and it can produce source code that is 1010. So by channel encoding, what we do? We allow receiver to trace the error and by having so, we can resolve error C1. And for that, we need to add some extra bits, right? And once we have source code based on source decoding, again, we can generate analog signal and already digital signal is there with us. So if information is digital, then there is no issue. But as if information is analog, then here there should be source decoding as per adaptive delta modulation, delta modulation and PCM, right? And see if your output is non-electrical, then with the use of opposite to transducer, we need to convert electrical signal into non-electrical signal. For example, if we have analog signal, and your actual output should be voice, then by using speaker, one can convert electrical signal into voice signal. So that is how complete block diagram is there. And with this block diagram, I have talked about many methods. Like if you observe here, see in source encoding, I have mentioned the methods like adaptive delta modulation, delta modulation, pulse code modulation, Huffman coding, Shannon Fano coding, in channel encoding, I have talked about block code, cyclic code, convolution code. In digital modulation, I have mentioned ASK, FSK, PSK, QPSK. So all these things that I'll be discussing in this video lecture series with great clarity. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.